In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very creative eight arrow options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the first arrow comes within this hole you can see here. And then you've got the title and the detailed text. And again, on my next click, it will come the second arrow with different colors. You can see here I've used very bright and beautiful colors. And so likewise, it shows the eight options. And I've created one more slide without any color with single color only you can see here i've just used the orange color and one more i have used with more shining effect you can see here i have used more shining effect here and there's one more with i have just created only one with different colors and others are with the same color so let's see how to do this beautiful infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select oval shape. Just click the oval shape here. It will create a small oval shape of uh, one inches height and width. I'm going to make it as 2.5 height and width and align center, align middle. Shape outline, you can make it no outline and you can give some different color maybe this one i'm going to change a later and then i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select the second one which is the rectangle rounded corners just make maybe this much size again shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to make it somewhat transparent and then press ctrl d to duplicate this and you can see here i'm just going to cut this part which is the top part and let me just increase the size a little bit here outside so you can see here this part only i'm just going to cut and this also let me just increase it so that this rectangle should be bigger than the first one so first select the smaller rectangle hold the shift key second the uh, select the second one and under format merge shape just say subtract you can end up you end up with this particular shape now i'm going to cut it again and i want to add an arrowhead for that for that let me just go to insert shapes select the rectangle and i'm going to cut this much part you can see here this much rectangle so select this one and this part merge shape and just say subtract and then go to insert shapes select a triangle draw a triangle you can see here and then just rotate it you can just see here rotate right 90 degrees and exactly align this one can you see here and then i'm going to select this shift key hold the shift key and select this again merge shape and just say union so you end up getting this shape let me just make it more remove the transparent so you can see here i have created this curved arrow design now our arrow design is ready let me just add one more rectangle circle uh, press ctrl d to duplicate this and i'm going to give some darker color here you can see here let me just make it more darker also you can go to more colors and you can make it more darker and click ok and make sure that there's no outline and then i'm just going to increase the size maybe from 2.5 i'm going to change to 3 and send this to back and again align center align middle you can see here now this size is somewhat smaller for me let me just make it 3.5 and again align center align middle yeah i think this looks okay and then i'm going to select this particular shape press ctrl d you can see here and i'm going to on the format tab edit shape change shape i'm going to select this one which is circle hollow you can see here the shape has been changed to the circle hollow i can just make it less somewhat uh, less thickness and i'm going to make this as maybe four height and width you can see here and then i'm going to select the gradient fill for this one so 
this particular gradient has been added so let me just make it first of all radial and here direction I'm just going to select from center so first of all here I'm just going to give some darker colors you can see here some darker colors and here you can make it a uh, somewhat maybe a white and here I'm going to select the same color which I'm going to which I've used in my background and that point I'm going to make it fully transparent you can see here and then I'm just going to bring and put it here reduce the size the width you can see here and again I can increase from 4 to maybe 4.2 height and width should be same and this again align center align middle make sure that this is more darker color i can increase the size here you can see here you can just increase or decrease it let me just bring it yes so you can just increase more of this and then place it here so the design is ready here i'm just going to select this and let me just go to format and i can just rotate it you can see here i can any way i want i can just rotate it rotate left and then i'm going to make it flip horizontal and then i'm just going to put the arrow here you can see here the arrow and then for this also I'm going to give a gradient fill and it should look like this particular arrow is coming from this hole so let me just select this and here I'm not going to select radial I'm going to select linear and I'm going to use three font uh, three stops first one let me just give some darker color maybe I can use uh, say a blue dark blue and then I'm going to use a lighter blue color in the center. I can just select any lighter color. We can change if it is not matching. And again more color we can give somewhat blue color. Now you can see here the direction is not the right direction. So I'm going to change the direction to any of this direction. Let's see which direction looks good. No not this one. Yeah this one. But I want this one to move sorry i want to move this one a little bit down you can see here so that it gives more curved here and the direction actually i want to change this to this yeah you can see here all right so it inside here it is more darker then there is a kind of a bend effect light color and then the blue color is there so I'm just going to select this press ctrl D and uh, rotate it a little bit or let me just rotate it and put it here press ctrl D again rotate it and put this one here ctrl D I'm just going to bend this straight and put this here and then in between I'm just going to add one more Control D again, rotate it. You can see here. If you want, you can just keep it 4 also, but let me just make it 8. So you can see here this one, press Control D. I'm just going to rotate this and I'm going to add one more here. Control D. And if it is not aligned, we can align it later on, not a problem. So first, let me just put all the 8 one. You can see here, all the arrows has been added. Now if you want, you can add some different colors to it. If you like to change the color for each one, you can just simply select this one. Let me just increase the size. You can see here this blue. I have changed, I have selected this direction, you can see here then let me just select this go to more colors and i'm going to give maybe a orange and here i'm just going to use more color a kind of a yellow or light orange or whatever and here in the center i'm going to select the same color 
but let me just go to more colors customs and i'm just going to reduce the shading you can see here and click ok so you got this shining effect also here so likewise you can just change the colors of all the arrows depending on your requirement so let me just add the text now as you can see here there's no space for me on the top arrow and the bottom arrow to add the text press ctrl a to select all the objects press ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here i can able to reduce the size and then again format align center align middle so you can see here you got the space to add the text and if you want just right mouse click and ungroup this let me just add the text you can add the heading also if you want i'll just say add your text here center align let me just reduce the size any font of your choice you can add it and just press ctrl d and add it to each of the arrows you can see here press ctrl d again to duplicate or you can do ctrl c ctrl v also copy and paste but ctrl d is more easy to do So you can see here our design is ready the text is added and then if you want you can add some icons if you have let me just go to insert icons if you're using office 365 then you get the icons by default if not you can get it from the net so let me just increase the size and if you want you can just add one text here and this color i'm going to change this to white you can see here i've changed this color to white let me just remove the guides so you can see here our design is perfect now it's time to do the animation to add the animation go to animations tab close the format background click on animation pane then i'm going to select the first arrow and i'm going to say wipe you can see here wipe and effect should be from bottom for this and we have to keep on changing the effect and then this text to come for that add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select stretch and click ok and the stretch i will just say from bottom it comes something like this and this should happen after previous so if i play you can see here it comes something like this now with the help of animation painter i can just paint it to the other icons uh, to the other arrows let me just select the this particular arrow click on animation painter and then select this particular arrow you can see here and then you can make it maybe from left and then select this animation painter click on this so keep on doing the same thing again animation painter this one i'll select this again animate here this one so you have to just keep on changing the effect for example let me just show you when I select this one, it is coming from this one. Actually, it should come from top. All right. And this also I'm just going to select. And this effect also you can change. Again, this is also coming from uh, bottom. It should come from top. So likewise, you just can, you can add all the animations one by one to all the arrows. So I have added all the animation. Let me just play. You can see when I play, it comes the first one, second. So it keeps on coming. So that's it. That's it from me, friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe to PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.